Good morning, primaries and juniors. I am Teacher Jude, welcoming you to Lesson 5 of our Online Sunday School series. Ano nga ulit yung title ng series natin? Let's all say it together. I want to be like Jesus. Primaries and juniors, how's your experience ngayong nasa MECQ or Modified Enhanced Community Quarantine tayo? Marami pa kayong nagagawa dyan sa inyong mga bahay? Miss na miss na namin kayo. Excited na ako makita kayo ulit dito sa ating church building at makasama kayo face to face sa pag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos. Pero kahit hindi tayo nakikita, my desire that even if you're only in your house and still in quarantine, you are still finding ways on how you can apply our lessons. How are you thinking, talking, and acting like Jesus in your houses? Iniisip niyo ba, primaries and juniors, kung paano kayo pwedeng maging katulad ni Jesus sa mga kasama ninyo dyan sa inyong mga bahay? For the whole month of August, we looked at how we can be like Jesus. We learned that we should read the Bible, pray, be obedient, and have Jesus as our Lord. So I hope you are ready for the conclusion of our series. Handa na ba kayo? Do you already have your Bibles? Before we start, we need power from above. At paano natin makukuha yun? We need to pray. So close our eyes, bow our heads, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for the opportunity that you have allowed us, O Lord, to be able to be gathered so that we can continue to have our online Sunday school lessons. I pray, Panginoon, for the juniors and the primaries and the family members watching this video na kayo po yung kumilos sa kanilang mga puso that they will realize the importance and the possibility, Panginoon, the promise that they can be like the Lord Jesus Christ if they will repent from their sins and have faith in Lord, pinapanalangin ko po na kayo po yung mag-glorify sa lahat ng gagawin namin. Bless our singing, bless the lesson, the Bible stories. Po Panginoon na aming mapapanood, bless rin po Panginoon yung aming pag-memorize ng verse and even our class. I pray Panginoon that everything na gagawin po namin ay magtuwa po kayo at kayo po yung aming mapupulihan. Lord, I pray that you be with the teachers, give us wisdom, and allow the Holy Spirit to work in our presence. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Primaries and juniors, ready na ba kayo para sa ating online Sunday school? Let us start learning on how to be like Jesus. Hi kids! For our first song, we are going to sing Jesus Loves the Little Children. So, let's all stand up and let's get ready to sing for the Lord. Music please. Thank you. 
For the past month, we studied, I want to be like Jesus. Do you want to be like Jesus? Have you made the decision to think, talk, and act like Jesus? My prayer is that your answer is yes. Ang pagiging katulad ni Jesus ay nagsisimula sa isang desisyon. Ito yung desisyon na tatanggapin siya bilang Panginoon na tagapagligtas. Yung tatalikod ka sa mga kasalanan at naniniwalang niligtas ka ni Jesus sa kanyang kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay. Sino ba yung mga tao pwedeng gumawa ng desisyon ito? Sino ang mga pwedeng maging katulad ni Jesus? Ang sagot dyan ay lahat ng tao. Dahil sa pag-ibig ni Jesus, sa buong mundo, lahat tayo ay maaaring magtiwala kay Jesus. Makikita natin ito sa ating Bible story na matatagpuan sa Mark 10 verse 13 to 16. When Jesus was on earth, He did miracles and taught the people. He became known throughout Israel, and many people wanted to see His great power. One day, there were parents who brought their babies and children to Jesus. They wanted Jesus to place their hands on the children and bless them. When the disciples saw this, they told the people, Stop bringing children to Jesus! When Jesus saw the disciples do this, He was not happy. He told the disciples, Let the little children come to me, and don't keep them away. God's kingdom belongs to anyone who will receive it like a child. Then Jesus took the children by his arm, placed his hands on them, and blessed them. Jesus showed to his disciples that he has time for everyone. No one is too young or too old to belong to Jesus. He is never too busy to accept anyone who will believe and trust in him. If we repent and believe in Jesus, we can belong to him. Did you pay attention to our Bible story? Ano yung matututunan natin sa video na kakapanood lang natin by Mercy News? Here we can see the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ is so accepting and Jesus Christ loves us that He wants to have a relationship with everyone. Even the smallest child, Jesus Christ is concerned with them. Para sa mga disciples, inisip nila na walang panahon or walang oras or maybe walang pakialam si Jesus Christ sa mga batang iyon. But Jesus Christ rebuked them. Jesus Christ showed to them that nung siya ay nandito sa mundo, He wanted to have a relationship with everyone. Tandaan natin, primaries and juniors, if you create something, it belongs to you. Kung may ginawa kang isang bagay, syempre, ikaw yung naman may ari doon. So when God created us, we, are, we actually belong to God. But because of our sin, dahil sa kasalanan na meron tayo, our relationship with God is destroyed or severed. Naputo yung relationship natin sa Panginoon dahil sa ating mga kasalanan. But because God loves us, He cannot bear to lose us forever. So He made a way of salvation. He made a way for us to be redeemed to Him. At kanina natin na makikita primaries and juniors, none other than in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus redeemed us. Naaalala niyo ba yung word na redeem? We actually studied it yan sa past series natin. So great salvation. To redeem something means that it belonged to you once and you lost it. But you got it back by paying a price for it. If you remember in our lesson that sa ating past series na so great salvation, we said that to redeem is to be bought and set free. We even had actions for that. Naaalala niyo ba yun? Redemption is to be bought and set free. Do you remember what was the price that the Lord Jesus Christ paid para tayo ay magbidin niya or to get us back? Makikita natin yan sa 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 18 to 19. So open your Bibles there, but let us read verse 18 first. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your father. In verse 18, we can see what we were not redeemed with. Or hindi tayo binayaran, or hindi tayo nabay back, hindi tayo na-redeem by material things like money. Pero if we continue in verse 19, we can see this. But with the precious blood of Jesus Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. 
we were redeemed by Jesus paying the price of the cross of Calvary. And the price was His life. Yung buhay niya, He poured out His precious blood to redeem us. Jesus gave His life for us that people like us might belong to Him. And all who have been redeemed by the Lord Jesus belongs to Him. All who have repented from their sins and have faith that Jesus saved them is redeemed by Him. And if we trust in Jesus Christ, His death, burial, and resurrection primary seniors, then we are freed from sin. So Jesus Christ died for everyone. Namatay si Jesus para sa lahat ng mga tao. At in our Bible story, makikita ka natin that Jesus ministered even to the children like you. Jesus died for you, primary and juniors. He wants to have a relationship with you. That is why you need to repent and have faith in Him. Yun yung pangako ng Panginoon na pag tayo ay tatalikod sa ating mga kasalanan at magkakon ng pananampalataya kay Jesus, tayo ay kanyang ililigtas. This redemption is only to the Lord Jesus Christ. And for Christians, this is a wonderful promise. Because the Lord Jesus wants Christians to know that they belong to Him. Pero how can we be sure that we belong to Jesus if we are already saved? What are the signs that we can see in a child of God? Yan yung ating pag-aaralan natin as we study that I can belong to Jesus. O, pwede tayo maging kay Jesus kung tayo ay magtitiwala sa Kanya. And number one, we can know this by God's Word. Malalaman natin ito sa salita ng Panginoon. Binigay ng Panginoon yung kanyang salita para pwede natin malaman yung kalitasan, para pwede natin malaman na tayo ay kay Jesus. Jesus calls His believers His sheep in John chapter 10, verses 27 to 28. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of so sinasabi dito sa verse na ito na si Jesus Christ daw yung great shepherd at sino yung kanyang mga tuka? Yung mga kristyano o yung mga tao na naniniwala sa kanya. As believers, we are in the mighty hands of Jesus and no one can take us out of His hands. Pero Jesus continued in John chapter 10, verse 29. My Father which gave them me is greater than all and no man is able to block them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Can you imagine what is being said in these verses? Jesus is the great shepherd for all Christians. Once we repent and have faith in Him, we will become the sheep of Jesus. Ano ngayon? Diba? If we are the sheep of Jesus Christ, sinasabi dito, He holds us in His hand. Then there is another layer of protection. God the Father holds us as well. Ibig sabihin nito, pinapakita lang nito yung great love of God. That He loves us so much that upon our salvation, he will not allow anything to separate us from Him. At natutunan natin ito sa Bible. Another proof a child of God has is this. Number two, we can know by the Holy Spirit. The moment we take the Lord Jesus as our Savior, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside us. If you are saved this morning, then the Holy Spirit is in you. Every people, no matter where they are in the world, as long as they are a child of God, have the Holy Spirit living in them. Pero, ano may ginagawa ng Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit helps us to know deep down in our hearts that we belong to the Lord Jesus. Or, sabi sa Bible, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. One of the very first things the Holy Spirit does when He comes to live in us is to pour God's love into our hearts. Or papakita daw ng Holy Spirit yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa atin. God wants us to know how much He loves us that He sends the Holy Spirit to flood our hearts with His love. Or para daw binabahay yung puso natin na pag-ibig niya. Sabi kasi in the verse, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Romans 5, 5. At ulit yung sabi sa verse na yun, because the love of God is shed. Diba? The Holy Spirit shows to us the love of God at yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon, it assures us that we can belong to Jesus. At pag tayo ay ligtas na, it assures us 
that we belong to Jesus. Ang ibig sabihin nito, primary intruders, tayo ay ligtas na. At dahil tayo ay kay Jesus na, pag tayo ay namatay, binibigyan tayo ng assurance ng Holy Spirit na tayo ay pupunta sa langit kasama na ang Lord. Pero yung mga tao na hindi pa ligtas, they don't belong to Jesus. Hindi sila sheep ni Jesus Christ. Yung mga tao na nabubuhay sa kanilang mga kasalanan, ano yung sabi sa Bible? Pag sila ay namatay, babayaran nila yung kanilang mga kasalanan. Or, mararanasan nila yung second death. They will go to hell. Pero, binigay ng Panginoon yung Bible at yung Holy Spirit yung nagkoconvict sa atin na pag tayo ay dapat tumalikod sa ating mga kasalanan. Kailangan natin ma-realize na tayo ay sinners. We cannot save ourselves. But, Jesus Christ died for us. He, will, he is able to redeem us. He is willing to redeem us through His death, burial, and resurrection. And if we have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we can know that we belong to Jesus. Pwede tayong maligtas through Jesus. A third sign na meron yung mga anak ng Diyos, we can know because we love Jesus. In the Bible, all believers are referred to as those who love. Or, ibig sabihin nito, primaries and juniors. Yung isa pang pangalan or na, na tinatawag sa mga Kristiyano, tinatawag sila as the people who love God. We love God and we love His Son, the Lord Jesus. At alam niyo ba mga bata, na only those who belong to Jesus really love Him. Yung mga tao na hindi paligtas, unsafe people of this world, they cannot really love Jesus. To them, Jesus is just another man. But to Christians, Jesus is the most wonderful person, the God-man in the universe. Matututunan natin sa ating mga Bibles that God loves every person, pero He has a special love for those who love His Son. God has a special love for them who are believers. Makikita natin yan sa John chapter 16, verse 27. Sabi doon, For the Father Himself loveth you, Christians, because ye have loved me, and have believed that they came out from God. So all Christians are especially loved by God according to this verse. Or ibig sabihin nito, primaries and juniors, yung Panginoon meron siyang special love para sa kanyang mga anak, para dun sa mga tao na tumalikod sa kanilang kasalanan at nagtiwala kay Jesus. So I want you primaries and juniors to ask yourself these questions. Do you love the Lord Jesus? Is He precious to you? You can only answer yes to those questions if you already have a personal relationship with Him. So kung wala ka pang relasyon kay Jesus, hindi mo talaga siya pwede ibigil kasi na you are an enemy of God according to the Bible. Pero pwede natin yung mabago. Number four, we can know because we have changed. Let us be reminded that salvation changes us. If you remember in our lesson last week, we learned about the difference between a self-life and a Christ-like life. Look the story of Zacchaeus. Si Zacchaeus, nung siya ay makasalanan pa, siya ay may self-life. At sino yung nasusunod sa self-life, primary school and juniors? Yung self o yung sarili natin kagustuhan. Pero nung naligtas si Zacchaeus, nung nakilala niya si Jesus Christ, siya ay nagkaroon na ng Christ-like life. At sino na yung Diyos at Hari ng buhay niya? Si Jesus. Before I trusted Jesus as my Savior, I said and did wrong things and it did not bother me. Pero, nakuha yung ligtas, salvation changed me. Now, things are different. I love the Lord Jesus and I want to obey Him. Kaya nga yung lesson series natin, I want to be like Jesus. You can only be like Jesus if you are saved, if you already belong to Him if you have been changed by Him. Do you remember how our verse said it in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17? Naalala niyo ba yung memory verse natin na yun? Open your Bibles there. O kaya naman, recite it with me. Sabi doon, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So sinasabi sa verse na yun, if we have a relationship with Jesus, if we know that we belong to Him, then we are new creatures. Hindi na self-life, pero Christ-like life na. At pwede na tayo maging katulad ni Jesus. Because I am a child of God, I can show love to the people of God. All believers are my brothers and sisters in Christ. Sabi kasi sa Bible, we know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. 
He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. 1 John chapter 3, verse 14. Because I am a child of God, Jesus is truly my special friend. I really love him and I know that Jesus loves me even more. Kaya meron ako assurance na siya yung aking Savior at siya yung aking Shepherd. So, primaries and juniors, have you trusted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? If so, God wants you to know and have assurance that you have eternal life. Sabi nga, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Sabi yan sa 1 John chapter 5 verse 10. Ano ulit yung sabi dun sa 1 John chapter 5 verse 13? Ano yung sabi sa first verse? That ye may know. Hindi that ye may guess or that ye may assume, pero that ye may know. Alam mo talaga 100% with assurance. Ano yan? Alam mo na ikaw ay binigyan ni Jesus ng eternal life. We can only be like Jesus if we have a relationship with Him. We can only be like Jesus if we will approach Him and ask Him to forgive us and if we will accept Him as our Savior. Pwede lang natin magawa yung ating series na I want to be like Jesus. Kung tayo ay nalapit sa Kanya, hihingi ng kapatawaran sa ating mga kasalanan at tatagapin siya bilang ating Panginoon at nagapagligtas. Based nga sa ating lesson, hindi lang this Sunday, pero kahit last Sunday, na hindi na self yung Diyos natin, pero si Jesus Christ na. So, primaries and juniors, have you made this decision to accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior? Do you know na pag kayo ay namatay, pupunta kayo sa langit? Kung hindi pa, ano yung kailangan yung gawin? You need to go to the Lord Jesus Christ, repent from your sins, and have faith in Him. And kung meron kayong mga questions tungkol dito, kung kayo ay naguguluhan, primaries and juniors, huwag kayong mahiya na i-message kami mga teachers mo. Kahit sige sa inyong mga teachers, we will be more than happy to show to you how you can belong to Jesus Christ. On how you can know that you really belong to Him. Hindi nyo ito dapat pulaan, or hindi nyo ito dapat i-wish lang, or i-hope lang. Dapat alam nyo ito, that you can belong to Jesus Christ. So that you know na pag kayo ay namatay, pupunta kayo sa langit. Para alam nyo na kayo ay nirevive na ni Jesus. Today, we are going to talk about you. Yes, you. Have you ever said something that's not true? Was there a time when you didn't obey your parents or a time when you talked back at them? Was there a time when you took something that wasn't yours? Well, those are examples of sin. What is sin, you ask? Sin is when you do things that are against God and His law. The Bible says in Isaiah 59 verse 2 that sin separates us from God. Because of this, we can't reach God. There's a gap between you and God that you will never be able to cross. You can try all you want, but it's impossible. The Bible says in Isaiah 64 verse 6 that our best efforts will never ever close the gap and we'll just end up in hell, which is the penalty of sin. So there's no way, you ask? Well, when we depend on ourselves, there's absolutely no way for us to reach God. God knew this, and so that's why He made a way. God is the only one who can. Jesus said in John 14 verse 6 that He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to God except through Jesus Himself. So, who is Jesus, you ask? Well, Jesus is God who became man. He lived a sinless life here on earth and then paid the ultimate sacrifice on the cross. Although he didn't deserve to die, he still paid sin's price by dying on the cross. He died instead of us. He died for us. Jesus died, was buried, and after three days, rose again. He lives. Jesus showed that he has defeated death itself. Jesus became the only bridge between us and God. But sadly, not everyone will be saved from the penalty of sin. Why? Because not everyone put their faith in Jesus. Only those who repent of their sins and put their trust in Jesus alone to be saved 
will be saved. Those who cry out to Him for help, knowing that He alone can save. How can you be saved? The Bible says that you can be saved when you realize how filthy sin is in the eyes of God and ask God to forgive you and trust in Jesus alone to be saved. This is God's free gift to us. John 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. How about you? Have you put your faith in Jesus alone for salvation? Tingnan ko nga kung naalala niyo pa yung lesson title natin for this series. Hmm. Tama, I want to be like Jesus. For sure, madami kayong natutunan about Jesus Christ. Especially the importance of believing in Him as our Lord and Savior. I hope and pray na ma-memorize niyo pa din yung lahat ng mga inaral natin memory verses for this series at maging sa mga iba pang mga lesson series natin. Pag nakalimutan natin ito, pwede naman natin panoorin ulit ito o i-memorize ulit, di ba? Today, we will study and memorize another verse. But before we go to our memory verse, let us first recite with actions our verse last week. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's great! Memorize pa natin. Our verse today comes from the book of 1 John. It was written by John. He is the apostle of Jesus Christ. Alam niyo ba na sinulat ito ni Apostle John una para sa mga Krisyano or believers in Christ noong panahon niya. Pero syempre para sa atin din ngayon. He encouraged the Christians to stand and hold on to the truth and to their faith. May mga nagtuturo kasi at mga katuruan na kumakalat noong panahon niya. Nataliwa sa salita ng Diyos o mga hindi totoo o tama. Hindi ayon sa Bible. At ang tapang ni Apostle John na harapin ito sa nakatotohanan ng salita ng Diyos. He corrected these false teachings with God's word. But he lovingly encouraged the Christians to continue in their faith in Christ. Primaries and juniors, let us read first our memory verse. So get our Bible and turn it to 1 John 5 verse 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that he have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Now let us learn the actions for our verse. 1 John 5 verse 13. These things have I written unto you, that believe on the name of the Son of God, that he may know that he have eternal life, that he may believe on the name of the Son of God. Ngayon, matatanggal tayo at mag-aaral ng mga salita mula sa ating verse para mas makatulong na maunawaan at maalala natin ang verse natin. First, let us remove the words this Things. Ito ang action. These things. John refers to the truth about the assurance of salvation and eternal life of believers or Christians. It is God who can give us this assurance. It is never based on our words or feelings or what other people would say about us. Let us now try to recite our verse with actions. 1 John 5 verse 13 These things have I written unto you that 
Believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Next words that I will remove are, Have I written unto you? Ito naman ang actions nito. Tumuturo ng hindi lang isa kundi madaming tao. Have I written unto you? Kausap ni Apostle John ang mga mananampalataya kay Jesus. We can be assured of salvation and eternal life because it is God Himself who testified it. Or, siya mismo yung nagpatutuon nito. Hindi lahat ng tao, hindi lahat ng mga Kristiyano lamang ang sinasabihan ni Apostle John dito. Yung susunod na phrase dito, describing yung word na you. Sino ba yung you dito na tinutukoy? Nilalarawan nito kung sino yung mga tao na kinakausap ni Apostle John. Sino ang mga ito? Those that believe on the name of the Son of God. Kay Jesus Christ. Yes, sila yung mga mananampalataya o Kristiyano. Let us now recite our verse with actions again. 1 John 5 verse 13 These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God that he may know that he have eternal life that he may believe on the name of the Son of God. Next words that I will remove are that you may know that you have eternal life. At ito ang action nito. That you may know that you have eternal life. In this phrase or words that we remove, we can see the purpose. God wants Christians to know the truth about the assurance of eternal life. Sigurado may Buhay na walang hanggan ang mga mananampalataya kay Jesus. Hindi dahil sa kaya nilang gawin ito para sa sarili nila ha, ito ay dahil lamang pa din sa Diyos dahil sinabi niya at pinangako niya sa kanyang mga salita o sa Biblia. Let us now recite with actions our verse. 1 John 5 verse 13 These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that he may know that he have eternal life, that he may believe on the name of the Son of God. Now, for our last words to remove are, ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. For these actions, ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Parang inulit lang yung naunang mga salita, no? Yung naunang mga salita kasi nito, ganito yung mga salitang naglalarawan or describing words. describe yung mga kausap ni Apostle John. Yung mga Krisyano. Samantalang ito, phrase na ito, nakatulad na sa nauna, Ang mga salita ito na tinanggal natin ay nagpapakita ng layunin of purpose. God desires for us Christians or believers in Christ is to continue in their faith in Jesus Christ. To continue believing in God and His Word. For the last time, let us recite with actions our verse. 1 John 5 verse 13 These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that he may know that he have eternal life, that he may believe on the name of the Son of God. Thanks for that superb effort to memorize primaries and juniors. Ito na yung last memory verse natin sa series na ito. I want to be like Jesus. But we should continue to know Jesus Christ and memorize God's Word. Our verse is telling us that if we trust in Jesus Christ, we can become God's child. Our assurance of salvation and eternal life only depend on God. At tulad din ng kaligtasan, 
yung kasiguraduhan ng kaligtasan o buhay na walang hanggan ay hindi din nakadepende sa mga ginagawa natin o mga good works natin, mga kaalaman natin o hindi din sa mga bagay na meron tayo. Ito ay nakabase lamang sa Diyos. Nakabase sa Kanyang patutoo at o testimony sa Kanyang mga sinasabi, pinangako sa Kanyang mga salita sa Bible. Kaya patuloy lang tayo sa pag-aaral at pag-memorize ng salita ng Diyos Primaries and Juniors. Happy memorizing! God bless! Hi, Hi Primaries and Juniors! I'm Teacher Jude. I'm Teacher Leia. Primaries and Juniors, nakakita na ba kayo ng ships sa personal man o kahit sa picture? Ang cute nila, di ba? Alam niyo ba kung bakit in the Bible, hinahalin tulad tayo o kinukumpara sa mga sheep? Alam niyo ba na this animal has no sense of directions at all? Nako, wala talaga. Like in the flock of sheep, siguro mga nasa 500 plus na sheep, kapag walang shepherd na naglihid sa kanila, for sure mapapahamak talaga sila. Sheep are also defenseless. Hindi nila kaya ang protektahan yung sarili nila, lalo na pag may mga dangers or enemies. They are also helpless. They cannot help themselves kapag natumba sila. Napahiga or what they call cast down. Kailangan nila ng shepherd na magtatayo ulit sa kanila. Also, they cannot carry heavy objects at their back. Cute sila, pero kawawa, di ba? Kaya naman, nakadepende lang sila sa mga naglilid na shepherds nila. O oh, pastol. And we are like them, the Bible says. That is why we really need a shepherd. That's true, teacher Leia. Primaries and juniors, we have learned from today's lesson about a good shepherd and he is Jesus Christ and we can belong to him. Kailangan, kaya kailangan talaga natin si Jesus Christ at natutunan natin na hindi lang siya basta isang ordinaryong shepherd but he is a good and loving shepherd. He sacrificed and gave his life for his sheep. To remember our lesson, I can belong to Jesus and our memory verse 1 John chapter 5, verse 13, we will make a sheep finger puppet. For our craft, we will need white board paper. Kung wala naman kayong board paper na puti, pwede rin white bond paper. Pero pag bond paper, kailangan nyo rin ng recyclable na karton. We will also need pencil, markers and pens, scissors, and pandikit, katulad ng glue or double-sided tape. Primaries and juniors, let us now start our craft. Step 1, we need 4 pieces of whiteboard paper. Galing sa whiteboard paper natin. We need 1 piece with 4 by 5 inches, katulad ito, for the body of our sheep. And 1 square, katulad ito, for the head. And 2 rectangular shaped pieces of paper for its front legs. If you don't have white board papers, pwede kayong gumamit ng bond paper. If that is the only white paper that you have, just paste them on any firm paper tulad ng malipis pero medyo matigas na karton na recyclable dyan sa inyong bahay. Now that we have all the papers na kailangan natin for our next step, Teacher Jude. Step 2, we are going to make the body for our sheep puppet. Let us get yung ating one piece of paper na 4 by 5 inches. Tapos, magdrawing tayo ng body ng ating sheep. Magdrawing tayo ng parang clouds o magkakakonekted na curve lines na bilong haba or poblo. Pagkatapos nating i-drawing yung body ng ating sheep, gugupitin natin ito. Primaries and juniors, always remember, please ask help from your parents and adults in your house sa paggupit mga bakta. Okay ba yun? Ito na, primaries and juniors. Madali lang ano at parang clouds yung ating ginawa. This is going to be the body of our sheep puppet. Step 3. We are going to make the head for our sheep puppet. Let us get our square paper. Let, ito, let us draw or copy the head of sheep from the book or internet. 
Let us draw the wool hair on top of the head and two ears on the sides of the head. And then, remember you oval shape the face name sheep. And let us cut the outside part. It is like this. Pero may kulang pa, syempre. Well, we need to draw the eyes, nose, mouth of our sheep, diba? The head for our sheep puppet is now complete. For step four, we are going to make the front legs for our sheep. So, let us get our two rectangular pieces of paper. Mula dito naman, let us draw a simple legs. So, pag drawing ng legs, you may copy from your book or from the internet. O kaya naman, pwede kayong mag-drawing ng manipis at pahaba na shape. After this, gugupitin rin natin. It will look like this, primaries and juniors. Pansinin nyo, kinulaya namin ng kulay ko lang. Kayang-kaya nyo yan. Kaya naman, kung kayo ay primaries, you may also ask help from your parents or adults sa bahay nyo on how to draw. Pwede nyo i-trace yung sample na gagawin nila for you para masubukan nyo talaga na kayo yung gagawa ng ating craft. Kayang-kaya nyo yan kasi hindi naman kailangan ng perfect yung mga gagawin natin, primaries and juniors. Step 5. In this step, we are now going to put together the parts, the body, the head, and the legs to complete our sheep puppet. Let us paste the head on top of the body like this and front legs on the upper sides, left and right body of our sheep like this. Nasundan niyo ba, primary and juniors? Ito dapat yung itsura ng sheep finger puppet natin. Pwede niyong kulayan yung legs ng puppet tulad nito. Step 6. Now, let us write the lesson title and memory verse reference sa gitna ng parte or bahagi ng katawan ng sheep natin. Our lesson title is, I can belong to Jesus. And our memory verse reference is, 1 John chapter 5, verse 13. Naisulat niyo na ba, primaries and juniors? Primaries, pwede kayong humingi ng tulong sa pagsulat sa magulang nyo, sa ate, kuya, o kahit sinong nakakatanda dyan sa bahay niyo. Habang kayo naman juniors, kung gusto nyo maalala ang ating memory verse, pwede nyo isulat sa likod ng puppet natin yung buong verse na sinaulo or the verse that we memorized. Step 7. And since we are making a finger puppet, we need holes to insert our two fingers on the lower part of the body of our ship. Let us make two holes beside each other. You might ask how? We are going to draw two circles. Yung kasha yung pointers sa kay middle fingers nyo ha. After this, we are going to cut them. Just as we always remind you, primers and juniors, mag-ingat talaga kayo sa paggamit ng scissors. O kaya naman, humingi kayo ng tulog sa mga magulang or nakakatanda dyan sa inyong bahay. Ito ba yung nag-iitsura ng nagawa yung sheep finger puppet, mga bata? As you can see, yung fingers natin yung naging isa pang pair ng legs ng sheep. At syempre, nahawakan at napapagalaw natin yung sheep puppet sa so, pamagitan ng fingers. Primaries and juniors, ito na ang ating sheep finger puppet. Pwede niyo itong gamitin as you play with your siblings, cousin, or people there inside your house. At syempre, mapapaalalahanan sana tayo nito tungkol sa ating lesson today. Ano may lesson natin? I can belong to Jesus. Jesus is the good shepherd. He can be your shepherd too by asking Him to forgive you from your sins and to save you from them, believing in Him alone as your Lord and Savior. That's right, Teacher Jude. By that, we can also experience the unconditional and assured, secure love and wise living with Jesus Christ as your good shepherd. He gave us the Bible, so let us know how to be his sheep and once we are his sheep no one and nothing can ever take us away from his love we encourage you to continue joining us in our Sunday school kids of life 
Also, please share our Sunday School link to your friends or mga kilala ninyo so that you, they may know about Jesus Christ and His salvation. Until our next craft, primaries and juniors, keep, keep safe, safe and God bless! Hello, primaries and juniors! Did you pay attention to all of our teachers? Did you focus in listening to our Bible stories and lessons? Did you try to memorize our Bible verse and participate in our craft? Let us review what we've learned today. We will have a review quiz. There will be questions and possible answers flash on the screen. Choose the best answer that shows I can be like Jesus. Primers and juniors, are you ready? Let's go! Question number one. What is the price of redemption from sin and death? A. 100 pieces of gold and 200 pieces of silver. B. The life of Jesus Christ. C. Being baptized. The correct answer is letter B, the life of Jesus Christ. We can find this in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. Number two questions. In John chapter 10, Jesus called believers what? A. His sheep. B. His cows. C. His goats. The correct answer is letter A. His sheep. Number three question. Which person of the Trinity bears witness that we are children of God? According to Romans chapter 8 verse 16. A. God the Father. B. God the Son. C. God the Holy Spirit The correct answer is letter C. God the Holy Spirit God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit works together to assure us of our salvation in Jesus. But it is the Holy Spirit that witnesses to us in our hearts. Number four question. Which among these is not a result of belonging to Jesus? A. Eternal life. B. A changed life. And C. A brand new car. The correct answer is Letter C, a brand new car. Belonging to Jesus give us eternal life and a changed life. And for the last questions, number five, finish the verse 1 John 5 verse 13. These things have I written unto you that blank on the name of the Son of God that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may blank on the name of the Son of God. A. Accept B. Believe C. Trust And we finish our review. How many did you get correctly? Remember that I can belong to Jesus. Salvation is God's gift offered to everyone. It is freely offered to every person in the world regardless of their age, status, or race. The only requirement is that we accept it by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For those who have a relationship with Jesus, they can say, Number one, the Lord Jesus loved me and redeemed me. 
he gave his life for me that I might belong to him. Number two, the Lord Jesus wants me to know that I belong to him and that I have eternal life. Number three, I can know that I am saved by God's word and by the Holy Spirit. I can be like Jesus. My life has changed. I am a new person in Christ. Primaries and juniors, have you turned away from your sins and believed in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Tapos na ang ating online Sunday school. We had lesson 5 of our series, I Want to Be Like Jesus. I can belong to Jesus. At ano ating natutunan? If we are redeemed in by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, He will give us assurance that we have life in Him. Kahit bata, matanda, maraming pera, onting pera, matangkad o maliit, kahit sino pa yan, pwede silang magrelasyon kay Jesus kung magkakaroon sila ng paralang palataya. Ano na yung sabi sa Bible? As long as hihingi tayo ng kapatawaran sa ating mga kasalanan at maniniwala tayo kay Jesus Christ na siya ay namatay, nilipin at nabuhay namang uli, tayo ay kanyang ililigtas at tayo ay magiging sa kanya. We can belong to Jesus if we have a personal relationship with Him. Sabi nga sa ating memory verse na makikita sa 1 John chapter 5, verse 13, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. To remember this truth from the Bible and our Bible story, we made a craft na sheep puppet that we can play with to remind us that Jesus is the shepherd and if we are Christians, we belong to Him. Sa ating pagtatapos, manalangin tayo. Ipanalangin natin mga bata na patuloy tayong ingatan ng Panginoon mula sa mga nangyayari. Our Father in Heaven, we thank you, O Lord, for allowing us sa aming lesson, Panginoon, na matutunan that Jesus Christ is the shepherd at kahit sino po yan, Panginoon, kahit po kami, as young as we are, ay pwede pong lumapit sa inyo by faith. Panginoon, alam po namin na kahit kami po ay mga bata pa, kailangan namin ang tagapagligtas at walang ibang tagapagligtas maliban kay Jesus. So Lord, I pray for the primaries and juniors na nanonood the videos nito and even their family members na kung sila po, Panginoon, ay hindi pa tiyak sa kanilang kaligtasan. If they don't know yet, Lord, if they don't have the assurance that they belong to Jesus Christ, I pray that you work out the courage in their hearts, Panginoon, and kayo po yung kumino sa kanila, convict them of their sin, and convict them, O oh Lord, that they need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and have faith in Him. Panginoon, aking po pinapanalangin that you continue to bless the Rayan Bible Baptist Church, bless din po si Pastor, si Ma'am Sandy, yung mga deacons po namin, and each and every members, pati na rin po kami mga teacher. Panginoon, I pray na ilayo niyo po kami sa kahit anong karamdaman, and I pray po, Panginoon, para po sa aming mga church member na may sakit ngayon, I pray na kayo po yung magpagaling sa kanila, at kayo rin po yung mag-ingat sa kanila at mag-protect sa kanila. Lord, I pray na sa lahat po na aming gagawin, I pray po yung mag-glorify for the rest of the week. And kahit po tapos na yung aming lesson series na I can be like Jesus, ay patuloy pa rin po kami mabuhay, Panginoon, na katulad ni Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Primaries and juniors, share our Facebook and YouTube link to your friends para sila rin ay matuto sa ating series na I want to be like Jesus. Bye kids and see you next month because next month we are starting our missions month. So I hope that you are all excited para sa ating matututunan sa month ng September. And meron tayong mga guest missionaries next week. I know na marami tayong matututunan sa kanila. So be back at panoorin niyo ulit kami sa ating online Sunday school next week.